Marshall's World of Sport is a sports betting business that was established in KwaZulu-Natal in 1963 by John Marshall. The business has grown to include over 17 operations across the country. Marshall's World of Sport is a uh, betting organization, a um, wagering organization. We bet on both horse racing and sports and uh, sometimes other contingencies out there. For example, um, who the next king of England might be. But those are, those are rare. We're basically a horse racing business, which sport is the growing element of the waging industry in South Africa. Sport is playing a particularly big role. Um, and in fact, in terms of Marshall's Water, sport probably accounts for um, just over 20% of our uh, revenue stream. The company employs over 165 people and boasts a monthly betting revenue worth over 18 million rand. With a growing national footprint, Marshall's World of Sport currently own 20% of the betting market in KwaZulu-Natal. Revenue stream is very, very hard to, to indicate. I think they're growing. It's a sector of the industry that has shown growth in the past few years relative to others, um, particularly from our side. I think we can say in the recession in the past few years, we've shown growth year on year. We didn't see any decline. Um, the growth hasn't been as big as it was historically, but certainly we, we have shown growth and uh, are very positive about betting and wagering in the country. Betting has evolved dramatically since the days of the traditional high street punter to now include mobile and internet betting. In light of this, Marshall's world of sport has had to compete with the growing local and international competition. With the competitive betting market, the pricing structures, the, the need uh, for pe there is no need for people to go into a betting shop to have a bet. Um, it's made it far easier and uh, at the same time made it far more competitive. So obviously your pricing models have to be uh, extremely competitive to uh, compete with your international counterparts as well as your local operators here in South Africa. Betting in South Africa is regulated within a strict legal framework. The aim of these stringent laws is to protect both the punter and the betting agency. With South Africa's attention turning towards hosting the 2010 Soccer World Cup in June, capitalizing on the growing trend of sports betting has without doubt become a key focus for this business. We're expecting people that have never had a bet before to have a bet. We, we really believe that this is going to be a massive World Cup. It's an excellent opportunity for the people out there to know that they can actually have a bet in soccer. With a variety of bets on the table, World Cup fans will have a wide range of options from which to hedge their bets. Opportunities in, in soccer specifically, um, one can take uh, uh, bets on who's going to score first, what time in the game they're going to score, uh, which team is going to be leading at half time, um, will the game go into extra time, you know, when, you know, if there's penalties, there's just so many opportunities. Who's going to win each group? Obviously the, the big money at the moment right now is who's going to win the tournament.